The three in the pure bundle are basically one knob plugins to quickly give you, hopefully, good results. And on every one of these three plugins, when you press this knob, the plugin will listen to the audio and will give you settings which the plugin thinks sounds best. Sonable plugins use AI, but the pure verb manual doesn't mention AI, to my surprise. Sonable plugins do have a sound, at least for their dynamic plugins. It's never warm, but clean to somewhat upfront and slightly aggressive if you push. And you can see that here. The Pure Comp and Pure Limit both have third order harmonics added, which tend to sound harsher and more aggressive. The Pure Verb is squeaky clean. The Limit and Comp have aliasing and there's no oversampling option. You see that by changing the sample rate in Plugin Doctor, this aliasing goes away. Now, is this bad? Well, ideally, I would really love to see an oversampling option or a filter. But the aliasing is 100 decibels lower than the actual audio, and in real life situations may never become a problem. Pure Comp gives you the choice of 16 instrument presets, which will give you good starting points for which audio you use this plugin on. Before you do anything, you better turn on Audio Gain in the Settings menu, a handy feature that could be on the main interface. I will use the preset Mix Hot. There are three mixers only presets. You have the choice of three mix styles, the amount of compression, and there's the clarity setting for more transparent compression. You hear it brings back some of the highs, for instance. Now, there's no sidechain in the plugin, and the low end does suffer a bit in a track like this. You need to add EQ after the plugin to bring some of that back. There are many more presets to go through, and the settings do affect audio. Let me show the vocals preset during the sponsored segment of this video on my voice. If you need to split the revenue of your releases with multiple collaborators, DistroKit has splits. This enables you to, very simply, split the revenue you make. Add as many collaborators for a release you want and decide how much of the cake they get in percentages. On top of that you can set recoupments as well, so if you agree on a fixed fee instead of royalties, this is the way to do that. Get 7% off of your first year with DistroKit by using the link in the description. The presets in Pure Comp aren't only compressing to even out level, they also can add movement. Check this synth. This is without. This is with. Don't let the preset names hold you back to experiment and play around. But the sounds are usually very fitting and absolutely a good starting point. Pure Verb comes with 8 different reverb sounds, based on instrument presets. Here are the sounds, and I'll use 100% wet balance and size set to 50. Here are the presets. Between the sounds you can clearly hear differences in color, density and pre-delays. Again, don't let the name of the presets hold you back to use any of the other sounds. Here's the pure verb on a few tracks of this song, and I'll AB between dry and reverb, there's no volume compensation whatsoever. There are some interesting features. Synthetic makes the sound more artificial, which can help make the reverb stand out.
the reverb can work in infinite mode. There's the reverse. And bounce. Now reverse works better on some sources than others. For instance on these vocals it sounds like they are simply delayed a lot. I wish that the size value was kept when you switch between the sounds though. It would make comparing a bit easier. Pure Limit is very much a mastering limiter and it works basically like the comp. Select a style and press learn. Change the limiting styles to find something matching the song. I find by default that the plugin is pretty safe with limiting, but you can turn up the amount quickly and do that in combination with the style. Now to really increase loudness, use Inflate which works as a maximizer. You can get really loud. Too much of this causes distortion and back down if you hear that. Or maybe don't. Especially in combination with the pure comp you can actually glue a mix and bring up the loudness quite a bit. Sonnable's pure bundle is lovely and we can only hope for an EQ, de-esser and maybe a multiband compressor next. Who knows. Watch my shootout between Pure Limit and Mastering the Mix a Limiter in the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below.